Cancer, hi, welcome to your read for the rest of November here. Um, we're going to be looking at your astrology with your tarot. Um, actually, and I still have Gemini on my screen here. Let's kick Gemini out. There we got you, and we got your astrology there. Um, these are YouTube general readings. They won't always resonate with you uh, for tarot. Just be aware of that. And as well as astrology, depending on what Mahadasha you're going through or what your birth chart has in certain houses, astrology may not even resonate for you on YouTube. Um, astrology is a personal thing, and it's too difficult to give a general energy and prediction. I always say, and a lot of the people I follow don't do the monthly predictions because they know they're just wasting their breath uh you know depending if you have a mahadasha planet and it's affecting that house it may give you a positive result or it may give you a more um accentuated result <laughs> but anyways you got sun moving into your fifth house cancer of scorpio uh your you Mars, your Yokarka, is um, going into the 11th house and exchanging energies with Venus. What I mean by that is um, Venus is in Mars sign and Mars is in Venus sign and they're looking at each other and that's creating a part of Artyom Yoga. So if any of you are going through a Venus Mahadasha or Mars Mahadasha, I'd even say Mercury or Sun Mahadasha, you will notice that there is some sort of effect that's going to change for you when it comes to romantic relationships, when it comes to learning as well. Um, this is also the house of past life deeds. So there may be certain things attached to past life karma that comes up. So be careful how you tread for the next month um, when it comes to your romantic situations for sure. And when it comes to any situation in your life, because that is going to be noticed and it will whiplash you if you're not careful there um i like this your general energy is king of wands you know cancerine i think you've been going through the rough of it for the part of 2022 maybe 2021 as well and i like this energy because it's showing me that you know you've kind of learned to do things on your own and you don't really need anybody to go ahead and hold your hand anymore. Whereas in 2021, 2022, you may have had, you may have been put in a lonely position. You may have been put in a position where, you know, you don't get results when it comes to relationships, anything romantic. Uh, that's about to change for you here with this King of Wands, though, because I feel this is your energy now that you're like, yeah, I know that, Joey. I don't, I'm good on my own. Hmm. And um, here in the past energy, Six of Cups, King of Cups, and the Fool. There is definitely energies that somebody was showing up here, but they weren't actually giving you emotions. In fact, they just jumped off the rails here. Uh, the six, six of Cups, it's like... Uh, you still have the nostalgia, and I feel you. And with King of Cups and you being Cancerian, it's reflecting on that past cup. That one past cup that you couldn't hold on to. You may still want that cup or there may be something that you want with this person or some closure here. And then the fool, I feel like a lot of you may reach out to them or, you know, they may be on the table here. I don't necessarily like the fool here in the past position, though. Because it, it's it's just as it's showing the fool and it's, it's not very thoughtful. It wasn't very well thought out. Definitely, if somebody's left you, this is definitely not well thought out on their part. I'd have to say that. And the sun's exposing that for you here this month. But what you don't see is Venus is working with Mars there. And although it's retrograded, it's still there's something in the background you're not seeing here yet. And I think this is kind of like your last read um, because you have the temperance right in the middle. And to me, that's a Sag card, but it's also Jupiterian energy. And Jupiter is protecting you. Like, I think I said that in 
Was it your video? Was it your eclipse video? I don't even remember. But Jupiter is protecting you here. Your ninth, um, ninth house Lord is retrograded in Pisces and it's directly impacting your first house. So it is protecting you here. And I think having hope, you will get rewarded. That's what it was. That's what I said. Having hope will reward you. And that was last week's video, wasn't it? So the hermit, I feel like this is the final time out that you get put in before you move into the amazing stories of something manifesting in this physical reality with the knight of coins here. This is the final time out before you go into something or you're going to be happy moving towards 2023 and into 2023 uh, because it feels like maybe maybe there was something you, you know because i get the vibe with this king of wands maybe there was a person here already that you've walked away from even though it, it, it was probably difficult there there is that vibe that you've been on your own here for a while and i love queen of cups i love her here in the future energies with the sun and the knight of swords i love knight of swords because knight of swords He's showing me, hey, I'm going towards my quest, my happiness. And, you know, I feel like this is you. Yeah. Your best result is going towards your happiness and doing it in a way where you're not waiting for people. or You're not having people like uh, say you shouldn't do this, listening to the opinions of others. And it's realizing that because you leave situations as well, that, you know, you don't have any past life karma to suffer from. You sure as hell don't. Um, you know, and then the way I look at this, like, I, I get this question a million times. Like, will I have bad karma because I leave somebody and I break their heart? No, you won't. Breakups happen. That's part of life. And when you realize you don't fit into somebody's life, it's time to go. Now, like if somebody needs you and they're sick in the hospital and you just leave them there on their deathbed, yeah, maybe that'll come back and haunt you in the next life, you know? But I feel like the, the, the things that you're trying to, maybe that you walked away from earlier this year, I feel like they were, they were just sacrifices. And you may be trying to sacrifice things now in order to get something better later there is that there is that vibe always i get for you cancerian let's pull three cards for your advice six of wands ace of wands and the nine of coins i love this this is a lot of passion a lot of energy and a lot of self-love you're going to be giving yourself a lot of self-love here maybe i don't know but um, the universe wants you to do that. The universe wants you to know that when you love yourself first, when you love yourself first, uh, that's when you start attracting to you. And uh, money is going up for you as well. I feel that. I feel like any anything with uh, money is going to be looking good for you moving forward into uh, December. I just hearing that with this card. So, you know, that is the support you will be getting from the universe. And Ace of Wands is something brought to you by the universe. So there may be a new love relationship, a very heated one starting up for you. And the only reason it comes in is because, well, you had hope all along, Cancerian, and it comes in. Um, yeah, take it easy. That's all I got for you, Cancerian. I'll see you guys again next week.